research investment in more traditional diseases like cancer and cardiovascular disease. Uh, that is why I, when I conducted or commissioned in recent weeks a broad research review to chart a path for the next 10 years on health and medical research in this country more broadly, thought it was very important that I appoint someone like Henry Bradardi, who is here today and who is one of Australia's leading dementia researchers. And although we don't, still don't have a cure, although we still don't understand entirely what causes dementia, particularly Alzheimer's disease, increasingly we do understand that the traditional risk factors associated with most chronic disease are also most probably at play in Alzheimer's. Things like smoking, things like irresponsible consumption of alcohol, and things like poor diet and poor levels of physical activity. So Ida is right. We do as a country need to ram home the prevention message that a healthy body does lead to a healthy mind. We also need to do better in terms of getting good primary care to families impacted by a diagnosis of dementia when they need it. Alzheimer's Australia published a report a couple of weeks ago that indicated that there is fully 3.1 years on average between the onset of dementia symptoms and a proper diagnosis of dementia. Those are lost years in terms of getting the supports that families need to adjust their lifestyles and get the treatment and the support to the person impacted.